Okay, folks, August 20th, Sunday, 2023 in Garner. I have my Chaco Golden Knee Tarantula in her little cage out here. Wanted to bring her out in the 88, 89 degree weather and just see uh, what her demeanor is for handling. When I first got her, she was like an inch. And then I brought her out here when she was bigger and let her crawl on my hand. That was a few months ago. And she was quite, um, you know, not even this size. She was, she was quite large. And um, so I want to see if I can coax her onto my hand with a leather glove. Uh, as you can see, she is maybe wanting to escape in her little tunnel. I don't know. Um, and again, as somebody very appropriately reminded tarantula owners, these animals are not cats and dogs. They have no desire to be held. So I don't want to stress her bother her in any way um, so I have a, a paintbrush to gently um, coax her around and she's a new world tarantula with hairs on her abdomen uh, they're called urticating hairs so that might be her defense mechanism if she's annoyed but I've, I've had her on my glove before so I just want to um, you just see what she'll be like. Now, it's going to scare me if she reacts. I have no idea what she's going to do. She jumps out of the cage and runs towards me. I'm going to scream, okay? But, um, so, I just want to touch her and see what she does. I'm nervous to do this, by the way. I just don't know what she's going to do. She's typically um, not too bad. You know, she normally... Okay, well, that's interesting. All right, well, look. She's, uh, she's moving a little bit. Th this is how she normally does. She's normally okay. You know, you move her or you uh, coax her and she moves. Um, I'm already nervous. <laughs> um, I'll see. I'll put my right glove on and see if I can coax her into my right glove. I'm going to move away from the camera, so I hope I don't get out of the camera in any bad way, but I'm just going to see if she'll, she'll crawl. And I have a Tupperware here just in case she gets out of hand and she wants to go away, but uh, let's see if she'll crawl onto my hand. Um, fasten the glove and just, just see what happens. Okay. She's such a mystery. These creatures are, are incredible, but they're a mystery. I don't know what she's going to do. I just don't. So, here we go. Let's see. I'll try to be real gentle. Just lean it on her and then... See if she crawls up. If she look, I'm 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 actually touching her, and she's not doing anything. So now she's gonna crawl. See what she does. See if I can just encourage her to walk. Nice and warm out as well. Ooh, I think she's ooh she's going down into her, her hole. Wow, interesting. Okay. Um, at some point I had moved the thermometer and she rewebbed. So um, I, and I did not know if she would escape down there. But her little pathway down there does look uh, defined. So I think, uh, I mean, obviously she's, um, you know, she's reconstructed things. And I hope she doesn't run up thinking I'm a cricket. Because, boy, I tell you what, um, she's reactive. She's not as reactive as Mexican fire leg. Um, that there might be a cricket here. When she sees it, she goes right after it. So anyway, that's, that's all. Uh, I don't know if this will be interesting, but maybe you can reflect on, um, you know, what it's maybe like to own something like this. And uh, I think she would have walked into my glove and just sort of walked along. She's she's always seemed to be docile and uh, never uh, held her front uh, arms up in defensive posture and not even um, kicked her hairs. So, uh, I don't know if it's, maybe she's just kind of used to from day one when she was an inch and she crawled on my hand. First time I'd ever really had a spider uh, deliberately call, crawl on me. But, anyway, um, we'll try to do this another time. Now, my Mexican fire leg inside, 
I've brought her out like this in 10 gallon aquarium and every interaction I've had with her, she just reacts and um, kicks her hairs. So she shows no indication of being open to being uh, held or even just walking on me. But anyway, that's it.